Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're going to play Skywars one more time. Uh, well, not one more time. We're going to keep playing this till whatever. But I wanted to talk about uh, the story that happened to me when I was very, very young. So I wanted to talk about the time my parents uh, basically left me at this Best Buy. Not a very good story. <laughs> not a very good ending either. Yes, I killed him! So, my parents let me have fucking Best Buy when I was like three years old, four years old, barely know how to talk, walk. If you don't know this about me, um, when I was little, I didn't know how to talk. Like, usually you talk at the age of like one, two, like normal, right? And you would walk at the age of one, normal. Um, I didn't do that because I was a weird ass motherfucking kid who didn't like to do things at the right age i didn't talk till i was like three or four they oh fuck you damn it damn it damn it damn it no 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 fuck i didn't talk till i was like three-ish four-ish and people thought i was deaf so i started going to asl classes with my parents they thought i was deaf i'm just like what let's go oh, what i don't know if i'm ever gonna get through this so, and I didn't walk till I was two. I was a very delayed kid. Nothing was wrong with me. I was just really lazy, I guess. Okay, but getting to the story. So, when I was little, my parents would go places with me. Because, you know, they, I don't know, they would take me places. But yeah, and then, um, my dad, I don't know how he broke the television. It was, I think he punched it or something. He was mad at something. I'm not too sure. And... Um, so we had to go buy a new one, obviously. I, since I was this age, uh, I still hadn't had my sister and my brother was at school and I was too young to go to school at this time. Or like, I didn't go because I was delayed or something. I'm not too sure why I wasn't in school, to be honest. So they're looking at TVs. We go to Best Buy. We, they're like, we go to minivan. My dad owns a minivan. We go, um, he looks at TVs and there's a table at the TV. I don't know, to like get consulted or something like that. I don't know why I was left alone, to be honest. I was just left alone, I guess. I don't even know. Oh, fuck me! Well, I don't know how I ended up being alone, to be honest. I ended, I know that I, I remember this very somewhat clearly. I was left at like a tool, like a nail. What the fuck? Why are you just like throwing eggs casually at people? Yes, queen, yes. Oh, damn it, no! So, yeah, they left me at this, like, nail aisle, I guess, for, like, hammers and stuff like that. I don't know why. I was wandering around. I wasn't really concerned about my parents. I wasn't crying or anything. I was just, like, standing there, like, my parents are going to come back for me, I guess. I was just wandering. And the TV section, if you didn't know, is on the complete other side of this building. So, I was like, what the... Like, I don't know how I ended up there, to be honest. I, I just did. I don't know how I ended up there. I don't know. My dad was looking for some nails or something. I'm not too sure. They bought their TV, as, like, they said they were going to do. And they were heading out the door after they bought their TV. And they didn't have me with them. So, this police officer, sort of like security guard, finds me. And he's like, where's your mom? And I'm like, yo no sé. I speak English at that time. I'm like, uh, what? I was like, what? And he then he spoke to me in Spanish. He's like, ¿Dónde están tus padres? And I'm like, yo no sé. And then they're like, are you scared? Are you? S and then that's when I got scared because they're like, why do I have to be scared? Well, I started crying. And they're like, let's go find your mommy. And I'm like, go find my fucking mom. So we go find our parents and we see that my parents, they were like running back from inside like they were already somewhat outside they were like they didn't really think about where the fuck i was the like, great ass fucking parents so they were like they had their tv and they were running back inside because they're like oh shit we forgot our daughter they're like oh shit we forgot our daughter go back inside and that's when we saw my mom crying they're like, and my mom i was with my dad apparently apparently i have no fucking clue act like i fucking know and my mom was crying. She's like, why did you forget our daughter inside of Best Buy? All of this stuff. But in Spanish, you know? Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck you. No, 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 no. 
What are you doing? Are you lagging too? Oh, shit. Basically blaming my dad for this. I was, I don't know. Because I was with my dad and my mom was looking at other stuff. She was looking at plants and stuff. And they both of them thought they had me. So that's why they didn't have me. They didn't really look for me and stuff. And the police officer was there. She's like, you forgot your daughter? Are you? They were like, I don't know, like 29. No, not 29. My mom was like, my dad was like 21. The police officer, police, police. Police officer basically gave them like a whole speech about how your kid isn't supposed to be alone and your kid doesn't even know how to speak and you left her alone. How could you do this? Basically, my mom's crying her fucking eyes out. Like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hurt my daughter. And my dad was, he wasn't crying, but he was like, oh well, I have her now, don't I? And the parents of the year, I know. So like I said, the police officer gave him a whole speech and then they sort of left with me, but nothing happened. Like thinking back at it now, I'm like, why didn't they go to jail? <laughs> why didn't this and this happen? I'm just like, what the fuck? Like think of like why? I guess it wasn't as serious, I guess, because I guess they did come back for me and stuff. But I mean, now if someone would do that, they would go to jail for child abuse or some shit like that, right? I'm not crazy. Okay. How the, like, how, like, I'm thinking about it now. Like, how didn't they, like, not get arrested or, like, something happened to them? I guess the police officer didn't, didn't do anything. They were warning because my parents were pretty young. But, I mean, I don't think I would lose my own daughter at Best Buy for a fucking TV, you know? But I guess that was their dilemma at the moment. Um, but while I was with this police officer, security guard type person, he would be like, everything's going to be cool. Um, you want to play hopscotch and like you want to you want he bought me a candy bar from the like counter when you like pay stuff You can buy candy and stuff. He bought me one of those. He didn't buy it. He just took it from the fucking shop They're Like I'm gonna give it to this girl. He gave it to me. He's like, what's your name? Where do you live? What are your parents phone number? I'm like, I'm four years old. I don't know how to speak at this point. I don't go to school I don't know how to speak English. So I don't really understand him that well even though my brother did go and he knows, he knew how to speak English, and I knew a little bit of it. Um, it was still like I remember the coming home. They're like, Jessica, are you okay? Did anything happen to you? They bought me McDonald's that same day. I was like, yes. I like forgot about it immediately, but now like thinking about my childhood, I'm like, oh, when I remembered about this, she was like, Ma I was like, Mom, uh, I think I had a weird dream. I remember like you leaving me at Best Buy. She's like, No, honey. It was true. We left you at Best Buy. And I was like, that's great. And then I've been waiting to sort of tell you guys this story. And my dad doesn't give a fuck. He's like, oh, well, we got you now. What are you so mad about? And I'm just like, wow. Father of the year. Parents of the year. Parents of the decade, to be honest. What? That's all I wanted to say to you guys. And I'm just wait till I die here because I know I'm going to die, obviously. Oh, damn it, I thought I was gonna do something there. But yeah, um, that's all, and I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your days and think about how my parents left me at Best Buy. You can't really see my skin. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say, and hopefully, the, the, I, there will be more story times of my life. Yeah, um, talk to you guys later tomorrow or whenever I talk to you guys. Okay, cool? Peace. Hee <laughs>